Hey guys, and welcome back to another beta video. So today I'm going to be looking at the later version of the beta build for Time Splitters 2. Now, in our last episode, we looked at the early 2001 September um, build, which was quite interesting to say the least, because it was very, very similar to Time Splitters 1 in terms of mechanics and gameplay. So for this one, um, you're going to see it kind of a bit more closer to retail in this build. It's quite interesting though, there's still a lot of differences to fully make a video about it, so that's why I'm doing another video on Time Splitters 2 of a later version of this build. Anyway, so, first thing that I want to talk about are these sliding images before the demo, uh, demo appears. Now these sliding images show off a lot of uh, differences in terms of uh, of whatever version they're taking screenshots of this, which most likely would be this version, compared to the uh, retail version, um, which I probably will explain at the end of this video once we get into it. But for now, let's actually get into the game. Uh, but first off, I need to change my hardware settings, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so we're in the cutscene at the start. Now, you're going to realize something that's different compared to the... Uh, 2001 build, and now it's that there is no hanging uh, or swinging bracelet or swinging um, hook on the end of the torch on Nikolai when he's holding it, which I will obviously show in uh, photos of how different that is. But really, that's the only difference in this cutscene, so we can completely uh, skip this cutscene. So let's get into it. Now I want to apologise for if I'm sounding a little bit groggy, I am a little, feeling a little bit ill, so sorry about that guys. But anyway, so, um, as we get into the game, you're going to notice that we're going to have our terminal link finally. And not only that though, but the turrets on top of the uh, dam are different as well compared to the retail version, which I will get into later on in this video. So sorry for the video glitches and all that and the polygon issues, it is the PS2 emulator that's doing that, so I, yeah, again, I apologise. Anyway, so, here we go. So, as you can see, we have the terminal in front of us. Very, very unique. Um, obviously, you won't be able to see the terminal, nor will you be able to see the main menu properly, just due to the fact I'm using a hardware mode that uh, is OpenGL instead of uh, Direct 3D or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so, just like the uh, the beta build we were reviewing earlier on, the weapons are still the same. So at this point in time, the weapons are still the same. Uh, there's no differences. Though there is one thing I do want to point out now. We are moving considerably a lot more slower now compared to the early version. And not only that though, but we now have slower fire rates on our weapons, which is quite interesting. Okay, so let's kill all these guys, shall we? There we go. But one thing to point out is that the guards still use their full auto kind of attack, where they just keep on, you know, pulling the trigger and firing at you, which is quite interesting. As you can see, the... Um, the alarm sound is now the same as the retail version. Let's kill these guys quickly. Oh, Jesus, give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. My apologies for that interruption, guys. Uh, my partner is at my door. <laughs> anyway, so carrying on. So, uh, one thing you're going to realise uh, from these guards that are coming out the door now is that they don't have the AK-47s anymore. Uh, they actually removed that and instead put it in the tunnel room, or the uh, gas room as I call it, uh, just like in the retail, so that's pretty much the same. Um, now, in terms of what's different around this place compared to um, the, how do you say it, what's different about this um, build compared to the earlier build is that uh, 
you'll notice that these buildings now are looking a lot more different now in this building here in the early build we had just um, armor I think it was no we didn't actually we didn't have anything in here no we had two cabinets in here that's what we had we had two cabinets in here and now there's one cabinet a table and a piece of body armor which is the same body armor that you saw in the earlier version uh, this is the same besides the file cabinet now being here so they've now separated two in that building and put one in here this building now has a window of the door so basically instead of there being an enemy in here now um, there's just mines in there now and I'll get to the mines in a bit um, in this building on the bottom floor we have the terminals here now and also the controls to control the cameras which is quite cool so now at this point in 2002 in the February build they've now implemented that idea which is very cool also what's different about this place as well is that not only do we have terminals here and a post and whatnot but now we have actually have a button to open up the door which is quite interesting uh, instead of just there uh, being a table we also have sounds as well as some radio communication and as we get into this building here we get that sniper spawn and not only that though but we now have the uh, we still have the same boxes in terms of uh, in terms of being it like time split as one um, but I think this is getting to the stage now where uh, they're finally deciding to develop the Let's see if we can kill this guy without a fucking Jesus <laughs> anyway so yeah so basically at this moment in time they still haven't implemented or designed the uh, metal boxes for the ammo crates and whatnot So that actually makes a sound now compared to the early build, which is quite interesting. And what you're going to notice as well is that these mines are now uh, looking a lot more different now compared to the version we reviewed uh, earlier. As you can see, they're looking a lot more kind of like the uh, retail mines, which is quite interesting. Obviously, I will be showing off photos and videos of the different weapons, the different types of models, and so on. Anyway, so in the earlier beta, we had this staircase full of enemies and props, such as boxes and barrels. But now, it's just filled with a couple of enemies and a camera, and then a couple of barrels as well, maybe a few crates. But not as many as there were in the, uh, in the earlier version. Wow, I actually managed to uh <laughs> I actually managed to hit myself with a ricochet bullet. God damn. God damn it. So yeah, as you can see here, we just killed that um, that guard there and there's a camera there now. Not only that, but there's a guard here. So there's only two guards in this whole entire staircase. So it's a lot less cluttered now with uh, all the enemies and whatnot. But still I do like there being a huge amount of enemies to go through. I feel that it's kind of needed with a place like this. You know, you're going through like a dam that is protected by the military. <laughs> anyway, so carrying on. So we're now here at the um, the tunnel room, as I call it. Now, this is quite an interesting room because there's only a few enemies in here now. A lot less enemies, so to say. So we have was there seven? So we have seven enemies here compared to the uh, eleven that there were in this area in the earlier version. Um, also, there's lot, there's a lot less boxes and so on. There's, uh, you know, pretty much there's uh, a lot less enemies and a lot less props than there were in the earlier version. Okay, so in this first room here, we actually do have a shelf. 
now we do have a shelf with some body armor, some AK ammo, and then some actual guns or an AK, so to say. Um, not only that, though, but now this um, this uh, this uh, whole entire place now has a pressure. Well, the the valve circuit has a pressure gauge now, so now you can actually uh, now you can actually see the pressure now. If I wasn't in this hardware mode, I was in the other one, you'd actually see that the steam pressure would come up say, and steam pressure is largely da percent. But one thing that is to note actually is that there still isn't anybody on the intercoms at the moment. Every time you end up um, releasing more pressure or whatever, there's supposed to be someone saying steam pressure at something percent. There isn't still in this version, but there is a person on the intercoms in this version, so I will show you that in a bit. So in the earlier version of the beta, we ended up coming out of here, and there was the enemy hiding behind this corner. There isn't now, which is very good. Well, not very. I don't know. It's just very different, so to say. Uh, so we're now going down to staircase two. Staircase two. Uh, staircase. Sorry. Staircase two is a very different thing now compared to what it was in the earlier version uh, now there was loads of enemies in the staircase like in staircase one but instead we've only got a few I think there's only three now not only that though but we do have a shelf now with ammo and a heavy piece of armor on which is very interesting now this piece of armor is very very different compared to the retail version I'll say that right now there you go there's two enemies, there's three, and I believe that's it. Yeah, three enemies compared to however there was, how many there was in the early version, which there were quite a few, so to say. Now, I'm wondering if I can... Come on, you bastard. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Oh, I do have actually sniper arrow now. Okay, cool. There we go. My apologies. Uh, also, that sniper's AI has been fixed. Uh, I've tested it out before. When you slowly peek out, he will try and snipe you. So that's been changed now. Now I'm wondering if these, if the female guards actually have the male voice when they spot an enemy. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we. Uh... Nope. They're now female voices, which is very, very good. Um, Obviously, in the earlier version, uh, they were male voices if they spotted you, which is quite funny, actually. Let's avoid that camera. Oh, yeah, now we still have three cameras here. Um, actually, no, wait. Ah, yeah, okay, so in this version, I think it's closer to retail now because we have three cameras around this building compared to the two that there was in the. Um, in the earlier 2001 build. Let me just take out these cameras quickly so I can show you a, a few differences about the building here. So in 2001 build uh, we had it so these vents here were actually windows but now they're just uh, vents now so you can't you know fire grenades for them or you know shoot for them because they're now just a metallic object so yeah. Okay, so comparing this building to the other version, uh, this w door had a window, funny enough, and there was a turret in that corner, but now there isn't. Uh, like I said before, you're going to notice there's going to be a lot less enemies in this building now compared to the earlier version. Uh, so we have only two in here, where there was three in the last one. We now have an alarm system. Which actually uses the retail version. Oh no, wait, what am I talking about? No, duh. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, I was thinking about the... Um, the <laughs> sorry. I was thinking about the earlier version. No. So now we do have an alarm button. So I don't know if that actually is different compared to the retail version. I will show you if it is. If it's not, then I just won't show it. There isn't any uh, crates here now. There's a lot less clutter with props now. Which is kind of sad because I kind of preferred the uh, you know clutter of boxes and whatnot. It kind of made it look like there was actually stuff going on. So let's get rid of that camera there. Okay. So anyway, carrying on. 
so also what I do want to point out, there is no Tetris in this uh, version, <laughs> sadly. There is no Tetris, which is kind of sad, but hey ho. Um, well not Tetris, uh, Snake, sorry. Uh, the video game that you get for your terminal, terminal link, it's not there anymore, sadly. Uh, there's no window for this door now, I don't think. I don't think there was a window, I'm not quite sure. Also in this room, there's no flamethrower now, but there's still body armor. And there is a file cabinet here now, which is quite interesting. Also, the file cabinets do have sound when you open them up now, which is very good. And like in the early version where they were just, uh, <laughs> where they were just like not making any sounds. As you can see, those are what used to be the windows, so they're completely different. Uh, let's carry on going then. Alright, so in this room as well, there isn't any woman or any guard popping up behind the pillar, you know, attacking you. Uh, there's only a couple of enemies here compared to what they used to be. God, hello. How you doing? Um, these turrets now move a lot more slower when they're scanning. Uh, they don't move so sporadically. So let's just get rid of those sensors so we can uh, get into that control room easily. Oh, bollocks. Wow, they get ammo. Wow, well, sniper ammo even. There we go, just get rid of that one for now. Okay, so the command room, or the terminal room as I call it, is a lot different now. Uh, we have terminals everywhere. We have pretty much just it's, it looks like an actual room now where you would think the command center would be or something like that and instead of there just being a little table with like this on it pretty much you now have uh, you know everything pretty much and now we also have a trigger switch for the door over there instead of just being able to open it with X so there you go we need to actually get the floppy disk uh, so this is an extended version of that demo. Now we have it so we can actually go into this area and we can actually explore what's new about this place compared to the retail version. Uh, so as you can see here, these are the two guys from the cutscene. There is the uh, time splitter that we need to destroy, which we will do later. Um, one thing I do want to show you guys very quickly is quite interesting. So that red thing there is something of importance of later and I'll show you what it is later it's very very interesting um, what I have realized as well is that there these zombies are less in this version uh, behind the lasered gates uh, there's supposed to be quite a few zombies in these you know sealed off areas but sadly there isn't compared to the retail version I'm not, I'm not quite sure if there is more I think there is I hope there is anyway anyway so Let's get into this room where we need to continue on our adventure. We now have a terminal for the uh, turret here, which we will fire. Now, there is a glitch of the emulator that the uh, muzzle flash is still showing, but don't worry about that. Okay, so now we have this area, and we now have the shotgun as well. It's very good. So, this is the area where they use the... Um, where they use the actual cover system for the AI. Now these two soldiers that you see here are actually using the cover system as we saw in the earlier version of the beta. It's very interesting. Anyway guys, I'm going to be right back quickly. I just need to do something. I'll be right back. Hey guys, sorry about that. My apologies. Um, so basically I have to go to the toilet quickly. So like I was saying before, we uh, ended up uh, cutting there just shortly, um, a few seconds ago. Uh, so these enemies are using the cover system as uh, they were using in the earlier version of the build in the 2001 build. Not only that though, hang on. So that's the actual intercom uh, person now, the person over the speakers. Uh, in the retail version, uh, they actually have a female voice instead, which I'll show off now. <laughs> But yes, as I was saying, um, the AI that uses the cover system in the retail version of Time Splits 2 is really 
not there anymore. They don't really use a lot of them, only in a few certain places on some levels. But obviously in the earlier version of the build they were using them quite a lot, like in Time Splits 1. So anyway, let's head back to the uh, floppy disk drive area, or the command center, so to say. So we can... So we can carry on with this. Here we go. So there we go. So now the containment has been broken. And there are now are zombies everywhere. Anyway, so carrying on. So there isn't really any differences in terms of the zombies here uh, really none at all there's only no there really isn't any differences whatsoever uh, now in the retail version of time splitters 2 uh, compared to this version uh, as we saw earlier the the time crystal was in here and is in here, but in the retail version, actually the time crystal is over here where those two bodies would be, which is quite interesting to say the least. Because I don't know, I just find it really, really interesting why they would, uh, you know, actually replace it. Well, why would they put it in here? But then I would actually it would actually make sense to get to the time crystal. You'd actually have to go for the whole entire level to then get it. Whereas you can just go to this area here and get the time crystal in the retail version. Anyway, so yes, this is the time crystal, as we can see here. <laughs> um, very interesting. Um, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's really weird. Um, now, obviously, it's completely different to the retail version of the time crystal. The time crystals are green and small, but these are absolutely massive. Now what it will say is that you've grabbed, the time, you've grabbed a crystal and then the objection would come up saying you've grabbed a time crystal if I was using it in hardware mode. Anyway, so carrying on. So we're going to go ahead and quickly destroy this uh, time splitter here. Now I don't think there's any differences in the uh, time splitter here or the containment pod it's contained in. So there we go, it's now been destroyed. So at this moment in time, um, nothing is really different in terms of this whole entire scenario of the whole entire special forces coming in and trying to uh, uh, eradicate the mutants or the zombies. Now there's one thing I want to actually kind of point out. Now I don't know if this is just me forgetting what these guys sound like in the retail version, but these guys I think use a different sound in this version. I'm not quite sure. They might not. If so, then I will place an annotation saying if they are different or if they're not, and, play and playing a video of the different sounds they have. Oh yeah, have I shown off the flamethrower? I don't think I have. Well, anyway, the flamethrower is pretty much the same as the... Uh, oh, Jesus. The flamethrower is still the same as the earlier version. Uh, I think the flamethrower was one of the last weapons to be properly uh, made, or so to say. I think the flamethrower was the last weapon to really be developed on, because you can see the flamethrower in a lot of the later photos of Time Splitters 2, with a few other weapons as well. We won't use the flamethrower on him. There we go. So 
So as I said before, nothing's really different. So that's very interesting to say at least. These are literally the only gas mask units you see in this level as well. Even in the retail version you don't see the normal gas units. These are the special containment gas units so it's very weird indeed. Now I'm wondering, does the uh, alarm actually trigger off any more enemies? No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's that hasn't changed at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you. Whatever. All right, so here we go. We're now going into the elevator where we need to go up to the top of the dam. zombies coming down. Yeah. Now, I'm not quite sure if there's more zombies on this staircase than there is in the retail version. I'll have to put an annotation up about that as well. But that, like in the retail version, there is uh, zombies that do spawn up on this staircase only. And uh, there is one enemy, I believe, anyway. If we go up. We keep them going up. I think there's another zombie up here as well, I believe. Yeah. For some reason, there's this one guy that always spawns up. It's always confused me that. I don't know if he's a surviving soldier or something like that of the containment breach or he's trying to fight the guys off, but it's just, it's very, very different. Very, well, very weird, so to say. So let's get this uh, lift to come up here then. And there are no other zombies that spawn around here. Now, I did do the trick where you do spawn, well, where you do go for the gas, so I didn't have to do that. Because what happened was I left my game on, and basically the um, the demo then, like, exited me out of the game and started playing the actual demo of the game, which is funny. Anyway, so, before we uh, carry on, I want to just tell you this. Uh, as soon as we get on the turret and the helicopter appears, the game is over. But I do want to show you the differences between these turrets and the helicopter that you're supposed to destroy. Let's see if we can do that quickly. So this is the turret here. As you can see, it's a nice turret. But then, if we do see it, there is the helicopter. Now that helicopter is very, very different compared to the retail version, as that one is actually a different model compared to the retail version. screenshots of that. Anyway, so we're going to quickly head back to the uh, main menu and I'm going to show you uh, what I feel there's a lot of differences in the screenshots that you see. Actually no, yeah, I'll be taking screenshots of the, uh, the sliding images you see in the uh, main menu and then I will get to the point of uh, talking about that. So I'll see you guys later. So thanks for watching this video if you've come this far. Um, comment, like, subscribe, have a lot, and I'll see you guys in the future. See you guys later.